Like, I really felt so disgusted that I let that little, like, low ass thing, that little fucking child, like, mess with me like that. And I was afraid of it. What's good, T Tribe? Tiana T. Yeah, that's me. And I'm here with another discussion. I'm here with another TikTok discussions. I didn't even know like people wanted to talk about sex demons. I thought that was like a taboo topic. I thought people just was like, oh my God, sex demons, you're weird. Oh my God, you're demonic. Oh my God, get away from me. I did not know a lot of people had this problem. Like when I was asking for help, people was looking at me like, oh, it's just nothing. It's just like a nightmare. It's just like, you know, night terrors. I'm just like, bruh, this shit is real. Like it's a whole lot going on. Like this is like legit something that's like keeping me up at night. Like I am like not sleeping. Like I had to like let people know like this shit is serious. And they were like just not taking me serious. But anyway, the biggest question of all is how do you get rid of a sex demon? Once you know you got one, how do you get rid of a sex demon? So that's a complicated process. You got physical things you can do and you got mental things that you can do. Now, doing a mental thing takes time. It's a work in progress. Like it, It's like something you have to do every day. You gotta build up to it. And I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna walk you through every single step that I went through and how I released the sex demon and how I got rid of it. And let's talk about getting rid of a sex demon next. But anyway, we have a whole lot to talk about. I hate doing all that talking, all that mumbo jumbo, so let's get right into it because we got a whole lot to say. So let's dive right into the physical stuff. So first and foremost, there's tons of physical things you can do to clear our sex demon. But one thing you need to understand before you get into this is you need to understand that sex demons don't just go away. Like just because you cleanse it out, just because you like get out your mind, get out your mental space, doesn't mean it doesn't exist no more and that it won't bother you no more. Like literally, sex demons exist everywhere. They bother everybody. Like anybody that's like one bit horny or anybody got strong sexual energy, anybody like when the veil is low, it's like up for grabs. Don't think like you were just targeted because you was weak, even though that is a factor too. But don't think you was targeted just because like, you know, you just got bad luck. Everybody has encounters with sex demons. They prey on anybody. Anybody can get it. Religious, spiritual, atheist, anybody can get it. Nobody's off limits. So anyway, how to get peace in your household. The first thing that you gotta do is clean your house to a T. When I say clean your house to a T, I mean every single crevice. Like everything that somebody else touched that's not of your own energy, clear that shit off. And I'm talking about like handles. You know, the fridge back there, the fridge handles. I'm talking about like cabinet handles. I'm talking about door knobs. Clear it all out. Even the mirrors, clean all that out. Every single crevice, clean it. Dirt attracts sex demons. Dirt attracts low vibrational energies. Dirt attracts filth. It attracts demons. It attracts all that. You wanna keep your place clean at all times or as much as possible because like, look, I'll be lying to y'all if I said I'm perfect and I keep my house like spooky clean. Like, I really don't. I don't. I have to clean my house often. So anyway, first thing you need to do, clean that house to a T. After you clean your house to a T, you're gonna have to do a, a, a floor wash. And how you do a floor wash is, you can first go to the Botanica. A Botanica is like the Spanish version of a spiritual store. But go to a Botanica, and go ask the lady at the counter or the man, whoever it is, be like, I need a floor wash. They got some strong floor washes. Like them floor washes that they got, powerful. But also, you can make your own floor wash. Demons, and low entities do not like ammonia. So you get you some ammonia and get you some sea salt and clean your floors. Clean your mirrors, because mirrors are portals, unless you like seal them. Another story for another day. Clean your mirrors and clean your windows. Clean your door handles. Clean everything with that wash. That's going like, basically like have the demons be like, oh my God, oh my God, I gotta get out of here. It smells too clean in here, I gotta go. That's exactly how you get rid of a sex demon, like so far. Also with this floor wash, it's important that you understand that you need to clean from the back to the front of the house. Cause essentially you're sweeping from the back, cleaning out the back and like basically pushing the demons out the front door. So you live in an apartment complex like I do, push it out to somebody else's house. Cause it ain't got nothing to do with you no more. After you get it at your house, it is not your problem no more. Get it out and like, you know, get it out. Next, after you clean your house to a T, I need you to clean your bed. Everywhere you lay, everywhere you slumber, even your couch, clean your bed and clean your couch. Now, I throw away my whole bed. I throw away my whole bed because I had that bed for 10 years. So I had energies from like high school all the way up until now. Like it's a long ass time. It's a lot of people. And I dealt with like some very like low vibrational people in my life and just negative people in my life and just people who just didn't believe in me, didn't believe in themselves. They're just so negative. All that is in my bed. Even my depression is in my bed. All that's just harboring up in there. Like my bed was a fest full of like sex demons and just low energy because it's been fed there for years. Like they having a whole ball in that bed I had. I had to throw it, I had to throw the bed out. 
and how I knew to throw my bed out. First of all, I was advised to. My ancestors told me to throw the bed out, and my friend I had, he knew how to channel, so like his ancestors like, throw that bed out immediately. I was like, immediately? He was like, immediately, so I took the bed out. So anyway, you might not be able to throw your bed out, so something that you can do is take that same wash, ammonia and sea salt. You can even add Florida water if you want to. Take that, clean the bed, clean the couch. Spray the couch, spray the bed, however you gotta do it, clean that bed off. That's important, because they're attacking you in your slumber, right? Places that you sleep, places that you like chill out at, right? Clean all of that off. Now, now that you got your house clean and your bed clean, you need to clean your walls. If it's that severe that you keep getting visited a lot, like you're gonna need to clean your walls. That was my spiritual advice to clean my walls. So I took ammonia. I think I just took ammonia and a little bit of sea salt. It was mainly ammonia. I made sure like my whole house was ammonia down. Like I'm talking about you walk in there, you like choking because it's like that strong. That's how strong I wanted it because I was so serious. But anyway, take it and clean your walls. You don't have to clean all walls in your house, but I would definitely recommend to clean your bedroom walls. Those are important. That's where the demons be like, you know, preying on you at night where you sleep. So definitely clear those walls. Now, you done cleaned your house, you done cleaned your floors, you done cleaned your walls and your bed. Now you need to clean yourself. And how you're gonna clean yourself is you're gonna give yourself a spiritual bath. And you're gonna give yourself a different kind of bath. I don't know if you guys follow me on TikTok, but I made a spiritual bath and I told you that you have to give it a certain intention. So for your spiritual bath, it has to be very intentional. You have to make sure it's like a very clearing bath, a bath that releases all negative attachments. So in this bath, you're gonna get you some hot water or warm water, you know. I'm a woman with like our water scorching hot. So anyway, you're gonna take you some warm hot water. You're gonna take some sea salt. I'll put a cup to two cups of sea salt. Like you want like hella salt. You want to kind of replicate almost seawater. Seawater is salty as fuck. Make it nice and salty. Why? Because salt repels demons. Salt repels low vibrational energies. Salt makes them cringe. It makes it burns their skin. It makes them feel horrible. They can't cross salt. So yeah, that's why you want to cleanse your body in salt. That, you know how people be like, oh, you so salty? Like, that's actually a good thing right now. Like, you want to be salty. You want to be salty as hell because salt repels demons. It repels entities. So, yes, salt that water up. Next, you're going to have to take some more ammonia because, once again, ammonia is the strongest thing to clear out sex demons. You're going to take two capfuls of ammonia. Put it in your bath water. Yes, put the ammonia in your bath water. I have done it twice, and it was like... I was, it was night and day. I was a whole new person. I was like, damn, I feel good. Nothing happened to my, you know, lower parts. Everything was fine. Nothing happened. Everything was a-okay. I promise you, you're gonna be good. Um, add some lemons if you want to. You don't have to add lemons, but like definitely lemons is an option if you don't have uh, ammonia on hand. But I recommend to go to the dollar store. Dollar Tree, by the way, not the Dollar General. Dollar Tree gets you some dollar uh, ammonia. It works just the same. It's just as strong. Get some ammonia, put it in the bath. Get some lemons and get some Florida water. You don't have to, but the main thing is that sea salt and that ammonia. That ammonia is really gonna do the thing. Now, there are other spiritual baths, because I actually kind of got this from a spiritual bath that I found online on YouTube. Like, she's a lady who likes to release hexes. So, she does two catfuls of ammonia and two catfuls of bleach. Now, you could do those two, or you could just do the ammonia. For me, I don't quite recall if I added the bleach in or not. I think I might have because I was so damn serious. I was like, this gotta get up off me. It gotta go. So I put that in my bath water. Other things that I did was I had selenite. I put selenite around my um, perimeter of my bathtub. Selenite is very grounding. It's very cleansing. It releases all negative energies. It's like a, a, a nice protective shield that it releases out. You just feel safe around selenite. So I added selenite around my um, perimeter of my bathtub. I also had white candles. I had three pillars of white candles that I also got from Dollar Tree. Go to Dollar Tree and load up. White light is pure light. It's like angelic light. It's like God light. It's divine and, and just beautiful light. It's protective light. You want that around the walls of your tub too because it's, it's gonna like basically signal like, hey, only high vibrational beings are allowed in this space. Nothing like low vibrational. And let me tell y'all something. I had those candles around the perimeter of my bathtub along with the selenite and all that too with my um, clearing music. I went on YouTube and found the video that basically said, um, this is like releasing all negative attachments. I played that song. I played all of that the whole time. But um, as I had the music going and I added the ammonia, let me tell you, those candles were shaking. They were vibrating. Whatever was on me was on me heavily. Like I'm telling you, I was getting eaten up by that thing. Like I had no energy. Whatever was on me, it could not cross that barrier of that water. I put that ammonia in, the candles were vibrating. They were shaking. And I sat there, I was like, damn, they should stop shaking by now. It took them like a 
maybe about 30 seconds to stop shaking, to stop vibrating, to come to a complete steal. And I was like, wow, I really, real life has something on me that is crazy. So the important thing with the spiritual bath is while you're in the water, release fear. Release fear and like have an attention saying, I wanna release anything negative on me, anything negative around me, anything that was attached to me that I did not ask to be attached to me, anything like stealing my energy, drawing on my energy, praying on me at night, you wanna release it. Then you wanna ask for your ancestors, your spirit guides, God, Jesus, whoever you pray to, whoever you like call on, ask them for extra protection. I asked for Archangel Michael. I believe I called on Michael to also help me and be protected. And most importantly, here's the big key. As you're like in the water, douse your head. I doused my head three times. I had to wash my hair, but basically I put my head in that concoction three times and made sure I got every single crevice of my body in that water. You wanna make sure everything's released from you. And let me tell you something, y'all. I sat in that water for about maybe 15 minutes. When I got out that water, I felt so brand new. I felt like a brand new person. Like I didn't even know who I was. I was like, dang, this is what it feels like to have like stuff lift off your shoulders. To like not being like, you know, dragged down like that. This is what it feel like. I want that all the time. Like I really feel so much better, but we not done. The next thing you need to do is cleanse your space like officially. I took some white sage. I went around my whole entire space and I commanded the demons and all that to leave. And I had white sage when I did this concoction, but when I had like my biggest incubus, like that, the one that scared me the most, I had sage dipped in dragon's blood. So sage with dragon's blood powder is like way more protective. Like its purpose is to like clear out things and give you like protection. It's basically saying, hey, don't cross here. You're not welcome. Like the boundary is drawn, get the fuck out. Dragon's blood, tinge sage or dip sage. Like however they want to say it, however they sell it to you, that's a very strong sage. And I don't even think it was white sage. It looked more like blue sage, but yeah, it was like blue sage and dragon's blood. That's some good ass sage to use. But also I can use white sage. I've used white sage too I'm um, doing this because again, I did have encounters while I was here in this apartment. I had a whole lot of them because whoever lived here before me left hella energy. They left hella like just anything. So basically my demons that I've been had and the ones that was already here just having a fucking ball. They high-fiving each other. That's how I felt. So anyway, I had that and then I, um, I commanded them out. You gotta take back your power. You gotta get mad. You gotta be like, I'm commanding all negative energies, all the vibrational energies, all energies that don't serve my highest and greatest good, all incubus and succubus energies on this realm and the astral realm, I need you clear from my space. If I did not call upon you myself, you are not welcome here, not now and not ever. I don't care where you go, but you just can't be here. You gotta get the fuck out. Like this is my house. I live here. I deserve to sleep peacefully and I'm gonna sleep peacefully. You gotta let that nigga know. You gotta let that thing know. You gotta let that woman know. This is my house. I pay the bills up in this bitch. You gotta let her know that it gotta go. That's how I command it. And then I say, and so it is. And then also, if you are religious, it's important to say, and in Jesus' name, I command you to leave. In the power of Almighty Jesus Christ, I command you to leave. Like, you have to mean it. So if you're not religious and you try to say, oh, in the power of Jesus Christ, I'll, I'll command you to leave, nobody gives a fuck what you said. That thing don't care what you said. It didn't come from the heart. You ain't mean that shit. They only, they only pick up on energy. If your energy wasn't like truthful, it was a pure up like, hey, I really believe in Jesus and I really believe in God. It don't care what you said. If you say, I command you to leave because I believe in me and I want you to go, it feels that because you were serious. You have to mean it. So if you have to like practice some courage to mean it, you're going to have to mean it. You're going to have to like basically make it like and cater it to you. Like how I be like oh, on this realm and the astral realm, I be like, bruh, I'm ready to sleep good. Like I'm tired of this. Like you got to go. So literally you got to mean it. Put your all into it. Say it with your chest and mean that shit. Next, I went in with Palo Santo. I always go on Palo Santo because like, it just smells better and like makes me feel good. It makes me feel positive. It makes my vibration high. So I like to bring more positivity because sage clears all energy out. Palo Santo clears all negative energies out. It keeps the positive in, but it clears all negative energies out. So I like to bring the positivity back up in there and also bring my vibration back up because again, I gotta feed the room with positivity. So I gotta be like, oh yeah. I'm good, this house is safe, I'm, I'm great. Like, it's gonna be a reflection of me. If I'm in a good spirit and I'm feeling good, my house is gonna feel good. My house is gonna be high vibrational. That's the key to it. Next thing you can do is get some protection oils. Cause I definitely did that on my scariest encounter. I said, hey, I went straight to that uh, botanical or metaphysical shop. I was like, hey, y'all got some oils? Like, please, y'all got some oils that can help me? Please help me, master. So anyway, I got me some protection oils. Like, them things powerful, like whatever. 
whoever concocted those, they were amazing. I got like small little vials, but like, yeah, get some protection oils. Go to the store and be like, hey, I need protection. I need evil away oils. Get those, they work. Put it on you at night, you will not be bothered. And one last thing too, if you're that scared, the one last thing you can do is like put a line of salt around your bed. Like pull your bed back from off the uh, wall. Make sure you put a whole like thing of salt, like a clear line of salt around your bed that keeps them out too. Because demons cannot cross salt. They can't touch salt. If you ever watch Sabrina on um, Netflix, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, they had, she had lined her dad in salt. I was so impressed by that shit. I was like, how you, y'all really like witching it up this time? Cause like that first Sabrina, side note, that first Sabrina, I was like, what is this bullshit? Like, what the fuck? That new Sabrina, like she be on it. Like they cannot cross salt. What I used to do too, I used to put it in my bed. Yeah, I had to sleep with some salt. Yeah, I had to be uncomfortable a little bit, but like I slept good. I knew no demons were sleeping with me because I had salt in my bed. I recommend sea salt, natural sea salt, that good sea salt. But I have used regular kosher salt. It worked just fine and I was not getting bothered. So that can help until you have the tools to kind of clear them out. So that's it. That's all. Those are all the remedies that I recommend on, um, you know, physically protecting yourself from incubus and succubus. But we have a whole nother thing to tackle. We got to talk about the mental things. Mentally, to keep them out for good, you gotta get your mental up. You gotta like really combat like your mental space. You gotta really take control. You gotta be like, you know what? I am powerful, I can do this. So let's go ahead and get right into that. So what I mean by mental is, I'm talking about your mindset. So the first thing you gotta do is, you have to release fear. You cannot be afraid. Like you're commanding them out, you have to release fear. You have to understand that they exist. You exist, but you exist physically. They don't have physical attributes. They can't go and like, you know, get pizza. They can't go and like go to the mall and hang out with their friends. They can't command and take control of their life like you can. So understand that you're more powerful. Understand that they're preying on you because you stooped down so low. You became low vibrational and that you came to their level and that they can like kind of like talk to you. They can start messing with you because you were on their level. They can see you. If you see my other video, my orange calcite video, they can see you. So they know that you're the same as them at that point in time. You gotta get your mental space in a high vibrational state so that way you're not seen to them. Or if they do see you, they know not to fuck with you. They know that they can't take control of you. You have to have that energy. You have to have that aura because again, the astral realm is all energy. You have to have that unfuckwittable energy. You shouldn't be afraid of them because once again, they only exist on the astral realm. They only exist at night. They scary. They weak. They come prey on you at night. They come prey on you in your most vulnerable state. They can't approach you like when you're alive and awake and like looking dead at them in the face. They can't approach you at that time. They approach you when you're weak and you have no defenses. Understand that they weak as fuck. Understand that you just better than that. Understand that, release fear. Don't have no fear. The best way to release fear to me is to get mad, get angry. Anger shows them who's boss. Anger like really shows them like, dang, you ain't got no fear. Like angry people, they don't give a fuck about nothing, right? They are very turbulent, they're like, I'm mad, I'm gonna destroy you right now. Like they don't have no regard for nothing. Get angry, tap into your anger. Get mad that they're disrupting your sleep, disrupting your life. Get angry, get in their face. Be like, bruh, I don't got time for this. If you are still afraid, that's kind of how you hide fear. Hide it through anger. I recommend anger. The second thing on how to combat them mentally, don't let loneliness get the best of you. So with my incubus stories, I got contacted mainly like in my celibate state. Cause I don't have sex all the time. Like I always take like breaks because like, I don't know, bitches be wanting to be left alone sometimes and the bitches be trying to get her mind together. So anyway, when I'm celibate, I be like sexually deprived. If you have them with the quickness, because again, my chart is highly sexually charged. You have to like not let loneliness get the best of you. Cause when I'm, when I'm lonely, I think like, dang, I wish I had somebody to hug. I wish I had somebody to hold. Oh my goodness, like dang. Touch would be amazing right now. And guess who want to touch you? Guess who's willing to touch you? Guess who'd be like, oh, you just want to hug? Let me come lay in bed with you. If you heard my incubus story on TikTok, let me come lay in bed with you. Let, let, me, let me like kind of feel your loneliness. You have to release loneliness. Understand that it's okay to be alone. Understand that there is happiness in being alone. Be okay with being alone. Don't be sad or complacent about being alone. Like take control of your loneliness. Take control of your alone time. Pride yourself in your alone time. Also how to combat loneliness is find other things that get you off. Because that incubus has been getting you off sexually because you're sexually deprived. You like that in some way. Or you're just being weak that you don't really know what's going on. But like, find something else that gets you off. Like I know with me, I started getting into working out. 
I started getting into cooking. I started getting into YouTube, TikTok, all that. So anyway, find something else that gets you off. Like I remember when I had a, um, I remember when I started like, you know, getting more into business, more into like this kind of stuff. Like I was occupied. I didn't have time to think about being horny. I didn't have time to think about how lonely I am, how I wish I had somebody to share this with. I was so engulfed into my projects that like, I couldn't be filtered with that. Like I couldn't be, in, I couldn't be, I couldn't be enticed with sex or I couldn't be enticed with like, you know, my loneliness. Like I wasn't lonely. I was really full of whatever I was doing. So find a hobby, find something to do, exercise. Like you sexually frustrated and you just don't want to like beat yourself, you know, you don't want to touch yourself and you don't want to like go have random sex. Cause I don't recommend that. That's bad. You ain't healed. Anyway, if you don't want to do any of that, go find a hobby. Go running, start hiking. You have to get out. You have to really set energy in some kind of way. And here's the biggest portion. You have to find where it triggers your low vibrational state. Because to combat this, you need to be high vibrational. Now look, it's very unrealistic to be high vibrational all the time, meaning in good spirits, happy. Happy go lucky, acting like everything's all good. Shit ain't sweet all the time, and it's okay. It's all about how you combat that. It's okay to take a minute, a day, two days to kind of be sad and sulk and everything, but don't let yourself get so low to the point that you're doubting yourself. So what is low vibrational energy? It's depression, it's anxiety, it's fear, it's complacency, it's doubt, it's sadness, it's loneliness. I don't know if I mentioned that again, but it's loneliness. You need to all those emotions. You need to find a way to pep talk yourself, keep yourself in high spirits. I am an earth sign with hella water. We are very depressed. We are very deep feeling. We are very like in tune with our emotions. So like when I'm sad, when I'm depressed, I really be feeling it out. But that's part of my purging process. But as I'm low, I know how to bring myself back up. Like, do what it takes to make you back in high spirits. I know what me, it's music. I start playing some music, I'm like, dang, I'm starting to feel better. Or I'd be like, dang, I look good. I fill myself up with so much energy, so much positivity that it's really hard for me to stay low. Like, I'd be borderline crazy in the mirror. I'd be like, dang, you look good. Bitch, you fine. Like, who got teeth like you? Who got cheekbones like you? You got that natural chisel. Like, bitches be paying to get that chisel. Bitches be like paying so much money on makeup to get that chisel that you got. I'm like, girl, look at your hair. Who gonna tell me that my hair is not real? Who gonna tell me that my hair is fake? You can't even see where it starts and where it ends. Like, who gonna tell me my hair is not real? That's kind of how I be. Or I be looking in the mirror, I'm like, damn, that ass is fat. Damn, you look good. I really be like going in on myself. I really have to fill myself up with so much love because I don't know how easy it is for me to get in a depressed state. And when you're depressed, you are susceptible to sex demons, low vibrational energies, anything attaching to you. Because why? Once again, when you're low, you're low as them. You stoop to their level and they're seen as your equals. And they would treat you as such. They would start trying to take control. They would start like driving in your life. We talk about driving on TikTok, but when you stoop low and you have low emotions, you make yourself susceptible to being attracted by sex demons. Now, to combat this, because we're gonna have low moments. We're gonna have moments that make us sad. We're gonna have moments that aren't the greatest and that's normal. Like you are fucking crazy if you're happy all the time. You are not gonna be happy all the time, but you do need to find what triggers you. For me, what triggers me is, you know, going to work and I feel like I don't know enough and I get put in a situation and I don't know enough. And I'm like, damn, damn I'm not shit. Or damn, like I really should know that. I just be feeling so bad about myself. Or I get moments I'm in the mirror being self-conscious. Being self-conscious about your body, quickest way to get a sex demon. I think that's actually how I attracted one in the first place. I was so self-conscious. Like I was sitting like, dang, I need to lose a little weight. And I, I look so good, I be tripping. But anyway, being body conscious brings my vibration low. Cause I be saying like, dang, if I just lose a little bit of weight, it's like, I'm never gonna be good enough. And not being good enough is my biggest trigger. As a Capricorn, if I feel like I'm not good enough, if I feel like a failure, I'm depressed. So depressed that I wouldn't even wanna live. Like, so, like being a failure and not being good enough, like rejection like that kills me. It brings me down so, so low to the point that I'll come home and I'll be in my bed and I'll start eating. I'm an emotional eater. Like that don't help nothing. If I'm sitting here being an emotional eater and I'm already body conscious, like that don't help nothing, right? That brings me down lower. I know my triggers. I know what I'm low vibing. I know how to bounce back. It's all about affirmations. I'll be in the mirror. Like I said, I'll be lifting myself up. Should I be rapping to myself? I'll be in the mirror going in. Cause like, first of all, it's just me. I don't got anybody impressed, so like, I should be saying anything. I don't have to be a rapper. I have no aspirations to be a rapper, but like, I'd be in the mirror like, hold on, let me get myself a beat. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh. Look at my eyebrows. Look at my hair. 
Look at my shoes. Look at all the clothes that I wear. You hoes can't see me. Can't even compare. Oh, that's your nigga I bad that. Go catch a fair. Like stupid shit like that. Like dumb ass shit. I be in the mirror just like going in because like it makes me happy. It's fun. It's silly. It's just like, damn bitch, you really got bars. Even though I really don't got no bars. It's just like fun stuff. Anything that makes me happy. Dance if you have to. Twerk in the mirror. Go outside. If you need sunlight, go get some sunlight. Know your triggers and know how to bring yourself back. That's really how you combat sex demons. Now, here is an advanced step. Like if you're a lucid dreamer already, or you know how to confront people in your dream space, or you know how to astral project, or you know how to like kind of bounce out of astral, the biggest way to get rid of a sex demon is to confront them in the dream space or astral space. You need to like get into the astral state and like start beating them up. That's what I did. I started learning how to move my body and I was slinging them. I was like, uh, uh, in my dreams. And sometimes I was like even fighting them. Sometimes too, like it's like before I even got a handle of my astral body, like I remember I would feel the penis. It's like I'll wake up in the middle of it, like in my astral state, like to the point I'm sleep in sleep paralysis. I wake up in the middle of it, I'm like, what? And all I could move was my hands. So I would squeeze its, you know what? And I'll try to cause it pain. Or if it's like on my head, cause I've been feeling them on my head, I would squeeze their face. Anything I have like my hands on at the time, I would squeeze it and like hurt them. And then I knew I would hurt them too because they'll show up in my dream space and they'll be like, I don't know why it's not working. And it was holding this thing because I had squeezed it at one time. I was like, oh, that's what you look like. Oh, that's who you are. Like I just started becoming aware of like, oh my gosh, like they really be out here like on me like that. Confront them in the dream space. So when I finally confronted them in the dream space, I remember I was like, I was lucid at that time. Oh, I got lucid because I beat it up in the dream space. I wasn't even in the astral state, I was in my dream space. And then I remember getting messed with and I couldn't see nothing. I remember just feeling stuff and I just like remember how to move my astral body. And I started slinging them, I started fighting them. I couldn't see nothing physically, but I looked to my right in that shadow in my dream. It was a wild dream, by the way. I looked to my shadow in the dream. I seen that I was actually fighting something. I, I mean, I felt them, but I seen what I was fighting and it was just wild. And I remember it got mad. And this is one thing that you're gonna learn too. And it was like eye opener for me. I was so pissed off when I found this out, but in the dream space, I mean, I ran into it and it was just like mad looking at me kind of crazy. It looked like a person, but it looked kind of off because again, the eyes, they're not real people. So they always look off like I told you before, but I remember seeing it in dream space and it was like, you can't leave me. And I was like, I won't be bothered with you no more. Like I want all y'all leave me alone. Like I don't want to be bothered no more. And it got mad. It was in a car driving. He was talking about driving on TikTok. It was in a car driving with two other things. Cause I told you, I think I had three on me at one time. I don't know what the fuck. They had no faces, but that thing had a face. It was like a leader, I guess. Wildness. But anyway, but I remember I told it that I didn't want to be bothered with it no more. It got mad. It started like throwing like a tantrum, like a tantrum, like a fucking two year old. It started like getting mad and just yelling and like, just like, you know, beating his chest and just running and everything. I'm just like, wow. You doing all that, you fucking baby? Like, I really felt so disgusted that I let that little, like, low-ass thing, that little fucking child, like, mess with me like that. And I was afraid of it. I'm like, this shit is weak. Like, I could just kick this thing over. Like, it's really gonna make you so mad that you sat there and was, like, so fearful. Like, it's really gonna piss you off. I was really like, this fucking idiot. So I mean, I tried to walk off because, like, it was all that yelling and temper tantrum, but it wasn't bothering me. So I mean, I tried to walk off and try to mess with her dog. You know, I fucking love animals. Like, they, they be knowing you. you no, know, I fucking love animals. I just turned my head and I just didn't look. And I proceeded to walk off and just got mad. And I remember I, I had seen it again. It was like we were on a patio in the stream. So that dream was wild. It was a whole lot going on. It was a mansion. But anyway, I remember it was looking at me just angry. I'm sitting looking at it like, what is this nigga problem? Because I was like, <laughs> I'm loose at the time. So I'm saying like, what is this problem? What he want? So anyway, it was looking at me like, you can't just tell me when to leave. Like, I decide, like, I decide when I leave. You don't decide, I decide. And I was like, yeah, I won't be bothered no more. It was like, you let other men, it was like, you let men do whatever they want to do with you and you're gonna, you're gonna try to tell me that I can't do what I want with you. And I was like, I ain't got time for this. I was so nonchalant. Like again, I was myself. I was myself in a dream because like, in real life, like when somebody's throwing a temper tantrum and they getting mad like that, I'd be like, okay, you done yet? Oh, that's all you got? Unless I'm like in my Sagittarius energy. When I'm in my Sagittarius energy, I'd be like, I want war. I want drama. Let's bring the fucking drama. But I was sitting here looking like, is you done? That's it? And I was like, bro, I fucking told you like what I don't want. So like, I don't have nothing else to say. I was so Capricorn in that dream. I was like, bro, I said what I had to say. Nothing else more to say. 
So like, leave me the fuck alone. It was just so fucking mad. Yeah, it did bother me my next dream after that, but it bothered me in a way of, it bothered me in a way of like, in my ear, just like, I was in like a classroom, by the way. I was in a classroom and it took on the form of an ex person I dealt with who had the best D in the whole fucking wild world. That D was so good, but he, he went shit. So I was like, you took on that body, you fucking idiot, you fucking imbecile. So he took on that body, I'm in the classroom and all I hear it, all I see is that nigga in my dream, just like singing a song. It was like a love song. He was singing it so loud, so obnoxiously. And I remember he took on the form of that nigga who I really don't care for. So I remember I had like, you know, I had kind of stiff armed him. I was like, kind of like, a, can you back the fuck up? Cause I, I saw that's who that person was. I was like, can you back the fuck up? Like, what's wrong with you? And I remember either my ancestor or my spirit guy. Cause again, it'd be hard for me to tell which one it is. But somebody back there was like, could you please leave the classroom? Cause again, they've been building me up to like confront them in a the dream space. They've been the ones waking me up to like become lucid around three o'clock in the morning. They've been waking me up in the middle of it to see what the fuck was going on. So, they was like, leave her alone. And that's what it takes. For them to be able to protect you, you have to want to be protected. You have to not want the thing no more. You have to not be like, dang, but the sex feels so good. You can't want it in any type of way. Remember, it's your mental space. Don't be low vibrational. Find your triggers and find how to bounce out of your triggers because you're going to be sad. You're going to be mad. You're going to have low emotions. It's all about how you bounce back. It's all about how you vibe back. And that's all I got to say. So I hope you guys found this helpful. This is like my stories. And this is like how I combated them. But you have to consistently do this. You can't just do this one time and think it's over with. Remember I told you, they always exist. They always wait and they always wait for that signal. You have to continuously cleanse your house. Cleanse your space. You have to continuously like, you know, build your mind up. Continuously like fight fear, self-doubt. Continuously build yourself up. And that's how you combat sex demons. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you guys come back to TikTok. I hope you guys follow me on Instagram. Like I'm not even, I'm not even begging y'all to subscribe on YouTube. I would like y'all to, but if y'all follow me on Instagram though, hit that subscribe button up if y'all want to. No pressure. But I'll see y'all in the next video.